Wow, what a cool turret. I sure hope it doesn't go. So, Blast Tech Barrage is a really, really difficult map. It's definitely not the hardest and has one of the hardest bosses anyways in the game and has two turrets on the map. The turrets look like bombs. The map also looks like a factory and looking at it, it just screams evil. So, what is Blast Tech and what are all the enemies of the map? Plastic is your average world domination villain group. They have robots built to destroy and literally burn everything in their path. Yeah, you heard me. Burn everything down to the ground. And uh, they have to have a lot of firepower. Literal firepower to literally burn everything down. So a lot of their enemies have some relation to fire. Bombies. Stupid bombies. Bombies are the bane of any fine builder's existence, and the bane of my existence. They have big and small variants. The big ones have bigger explosions, which both of them, when they explode, they stun nearby towers and damage fences. Yeah, that that's annoying. So yeah, they're literal walking bombs. Weapons of destruction. Nothing more. <laughs> Oh god, these guys are horrible. So yeah, there's a sentry on this map. And he's called the Demon Sentry. Makes me think of the Demon Core. And also his head is broken and he has a lot of orange, which is one of Blastic's main colors. So he probably is like Blastic replicating a sentry. And if they were the hackers that hacked all the sentries, then then they probably could get blueprints and they probably made these ones to replicate them. And uh seems they're unfinished because they're missing a lot of pieces. On to the next guy! Gosh, it's a zombie. It's a lava zombie. It also explodes. Why does Blastic like explosions? Okay, Blastic. Yeah, I get it. They're called Blastic. So, of course, things explode. But this is the only zombie that I know of to appear on a map other than the joke April Fool's map. So, uh, I don't think that uh, April Fool's map is canonical to the... It's a Tower Heroes lore, but Lava Zombie definitely is, so, uh, yeah. Lava Zombie, he's a zombie, go boom, but why is there a zombie? Why is there a zombie? Why? Well, maybe they, maybe it's actually a robot. Maybe the zombie is a robot and not a, zo and not a zombified person. With uh, how it explodes, yeah, I don't see a zombified person ex exploding into fire, even if it was a fire-themed one, and fire just fits the whole Blast Tech vibe. So, uh, yeah, let's say it's a robot, alright? Okay, for the last two, I went off script, but these next guys are small things. They have treadmills and have simple flamethrower weapons on one of their sides. Scorcher has flamethrower hands. That's awesome. They are humanoid robots with two flamethrowers for hands. They have a rectangular object on their backs. These are probably filled with fuel for their flamethrowers. So, uh, yeah. I guess those guys are pretty cool. Okay, they're definitely pretty cool. For a name like Soldier, you wouldn't expect... A factory worker. <laughs> well, I guess factory workers help in war efforts, so I guess you could say he's a soldier of somewhat of some sort. But he's more like a factory worker. Well, he can be destructive. So that's what plastic soldiers are. They're designed to quickly build and dismantle things. They are also really strong and can be used as weapons as well. Yeah. 
that that that's that's a blast tech soldier for you. So uh, I I guess I guess they have robot factory workers. Okay, now on to sentinels. Uh, sentinels are bodyguards. I mean, just look at this thing. Doesn't it look like a strong bodyguard that could protect someone important? Uh, yeah, it, it is a tough enemy. Not the toughest enemy. Definitely not the toughest enemy. It appears pretty late game. Uh, I don't think it appears on easy mode. I, I, I may be wrong about that, though. Please tell me if I was wrong about that. Okay, so Fire Spirit and Firefly also and Inferno Slime and Fire Slime also appear on, on this map. They're not very important to it, but I thought I would mention them real quick. Uh, Firefly is a fly that's on fire. Fire Slime is a fire, well, flaming slime. Inferno Slime is a blue flaming slime. And uh, Fire Spirit is a burning spirit, and I hate those guys. They're horrible. They're horrible. It's child abuse. It's abuse. It's abuse. The children that might play this game would get abused by these things. It's child abuse. I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I, I guess that makes this video a little more entertaining. Okay, okay, that, that, that was excessive. Okay, this last dude. Design for destruction and selling merchandise. Good God, what is that description? Anyways, this is the Blastic Brawler, the boss of Blastic Barrage. He is the Blastic mascot, and on hard, he has one million freaking health. Uh, he's also called the Molten Brawler on hard mode. I guess that's cool. Uh, Inferno Brawler on medium mode, which Inferno is a step up from fi a fire in Tower Heroes normally. So I guess it makes sense to have an Inferno version, so... Yeah, I can see all three of these being made by Blastic, not just one. Like, I feel like Molten and Inferno were probably just ones that are more focused on destruction than the original. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Probably it. So, if you beat Molten Brawler, the hard version of... Blastic Brawler, like I mentioned before. Why couldn't I find the words for that? But if you beat him, Volt is added to the shop. Well, Volt is actually kind of interesting. He's one of the more interesting heroes. Not as interesting as Branch. By the way, you should go watch that video. So he... He, he electrocutes nearby enemies and... He's a he, he's a melee tower. He he has he's like a lava lampish thing and he he's basically like Volt if Volt did damage. So Wait, did I just say he's Volt if Volt did damage? He's he's bite if bite did damage. Not Volt. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> I'm a goofy goober. <laughs> so, yeah, he's like if Bite did damage, and uh, he has the Blastic logo on his bottom, so he's connected to Blastic in some way, probably built by them. But for whatever reason, he went rogue, or he was hacked and reprogrammed by the Tower Heroes, or one of their allies. Which, either way, is a very good thing. So, yeah... He's a good guy now, either way. So, uh, I guess that's the vault for you. So, we know about Blastic and their creations. This is relevant to a lot of Tower Heroes lore, so it's important to talk about. Thanks for what. Well, I went off script a lot in this, I'm sorry. But thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Wait, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Uh, yeah, I, I like to know what people think about these theories. Now you get to see Blast, um, see Molten Brawler get wrecked as a bonus.
Please die this time. Please, Molten Brawler. Please die this time. Oh my god, I'm about to do- Yes! Yes! I took so long to get a successful round on this! <laughs>